Pizza delivery drivers of Reddit. What are some of the craziest reasons people have ended up on the no delivery list? When I was in high school, I had a family order about $40 worth of food. I show up and she gives me a $20. Then she said, I must have dropped the other one. When I said that she did not, she asked me what would I do if I only got $20. I told her that I guess she'd only get half the food. Then she threatened to call the manager and tell them I took the $20. It was my family's restaurant. I told her to go ahead and call my dad and that I would wait. She scowled and gave me the money. I told her not to call back. We had a guy and two girls order separately, then grab the pizzas and run. The girls had picked the food up and left while the guy was paying. After 30 seconds, the guy bolted. It was a $100 order. My manager, who is a frequent gym goer, leapt the counter and gave chase. The two girls had gotten into a car with the food, but when they saw my manager, they drove off leaving the guy. My manager chased him three blocks and was gaining on the guy when the girls pulled up and the guy got into the car. Unfortunately, all three of them went to school with a kitchen hand at the store. So we had names, jobs, addresses, and Facebook accounts. We contacted them all on Facebook and got them to pay for the pizzas the next morning, under threat of contacting the police. We also put them on the no delivery list. Last delivery of the night, it's like 4 a.m. A sober guy answers the door with a t-shirt on, no boxers or shorts, just his private part hanging out the bottom of his shirt. I worked in a pizza Italian food restaurant in Alameda, California in the mid-1970s. The owner lived in a bungalow behind the restaurant. One night he ordered a full dinner to be delivered to his home, since he had the night off and had a date. I am tasked with taking the large tray of food out the back kitchen door to his abode. The rest of the staff are smirking as I exited. I get to his door and knock, he answers, wearing a smoking jacket colored with purple paisley and velvet. The man was a short 5'5", and very creepy. He said, hey, Poppins, check out my clogs. I look down as I hand him the tray and his private part hung to below his knees. He said, join the party if you want your paycheck. I let go of the tray and bolted away, and as I ran through the restaurant kitchen and out the front door, hopped on my bicycle and rode home. The rest of the staff cackling as I, a mortified 16-year-old, cried. I went the next day to formally quit, and he refused to pay me my paycheck. My boyfriend came in with me, and he had to threaten the man to pay me. Finally got my check. I delivered pizza for five years of my life, and I don't have one crazy story. I got bit by a little dog on the ankle once. That's about the craziest thing. The weirdest thing that happened, though, this woman would call twice a week and order pasta to be delivered. This went on for years. Then one night I'm taking her order and I said, and you'd like this delivered tonight, I'm assuming? And she said, no, I'd like it delivered tomorrow. We both laughed and I said, I'll see you in 20. I go back to make her order and the phone rings again. It's her. She says, I'm going to cancel my order. Do you know why? I was like, uh, no, because you asked me if I wanted it delivered tonight. What the heck is that nonsense? Then she hung up on me. She never ordered again. I still think about her sometimes. Well, there were a few over the years. One lady, around 70, kept answering the door with an open robe and nothing else on. This one dude was weird and angry and would call up and just start in with you fools if you can get an order right one time. I don't think he knew two swear words. And we had to tell new people you can just hang up on him. But from what I heard, when he did get a delivery early on, he was nice and polite at the door. Some weird psychological stuff happening there. The Zeppelin guys were the worst. This weird tall place had to go up four stories of rickety stairs, and every darn time they would wait till I was back down and then yell down at me saying we got the order wrong. They were Zeppelin guys because they always had Led Zeppelin playing pretty loud. They wanted me and others to go all the way back up, take the wrong pizza back and bring a new one and get it for free. This worked a few times. Managers always wanted to give into it. But then the drivers all sort of briefly unionized on this one point, and no one would deliver to them. So the manager finally caved in and told them not to order anymore. Stairway to aggravation, I guess. I worked for a pizza place that was near a very large software company. Deliveries to the neighborhoods or offices where all the tech workers lived was usually pretty awesome because they'd tip rather well. But there was one apartment that started to become a concern for us drivers. The man ordering was always polite, always paid, always tipped four dollars and he would have been a perfect customer he'd order breadsticks and a salad twice a week and sometimes he'd include a bottle of root beer except when he opened his door you could see an alarming amount of our breadsticks boxes stacked everywhere inside not like a few on the counter and a couple by the trash stacks and stacks of them even worse 
It was only our boxes in there. He wasn't just ordering from us often. We were the only place he was getting food outside of work. Now, I've worked in some of those tech offices myself. I know that there's enough decent food options just hanging out in the break rooms that this guy was probably not malnourished, but the way his living space was a shrine of greasy cardboard was a clear sign that this guy didn't have a healthy relationship with our food. Our manager was a really cool dude though, and he heard the drivers joking about the boxes and asked a couple of us, is this like a messy guy or a guy who needs help? We agreed it was probably the latter. So on his day off, the manager went to the guy's apartment with an envelope that had gift cards for several other restaurants that delivered in that area and chatted with him. The manager found out that the guy was an immigrant on a visa who was struggling to find American food he liked and was too socially awkward to ask anyone. So he talked with him through a few menus and helped him with some recommendations. Then he helped the guy load all the old boxes into his truck to take to the dump in exchange for a promise not to order from us more than once a week. For a little while, the manager had a note on the calendar showing the last time the guy had ordered, and a couple of times, he had to hold his ground and refuse the guy's order. But after that chat, I never saw the stacks of boxes again, and the guy would boast about the different meals he'd had. Some frat guy grabbed a female driver's backside, and we banned the whole frat. They kicked the dude out and wrote a seriously good apology to the driver, and we delivered to them again after she said she was okay with it. When I moved in with my brother, I ordered Pizza Hut, and an hour later I called to see where they were, and they told me they do not deliver to this address and had cancelled my order. I learned my brother would get drunk, order Pizza Hut, and then pass out or flat out refuse the order when they showed up. He did it multiple times. This was seven years ago. A father offered his daughter up for intimate relations to me on Friday night, then to another driver on Saturday night. Our general manager wasn't comfortable with talking to him, so using the internet, I found the wife's name and landline number, called from my cell phone, and asked for the wife. She comes on the phone, introduces myself, and explained why I am calling. Never heard from him nor her. A woman would call and complain about the pizza every time she ordered so she could get a credit. Then, one time she said there was blood and waste on the pizza box. Rather than give any credence to that idea, we completely cut her off. A Rottweiler broke the front window to attack me delivering their pies. The chain actually valued my health over profits enough to ban this house when the dog busted their living room window on a drop-off. Been in pizza for 20 years. It's usually a day drinker that assaults the driver and is generally more sad than exciting. I suppose the most exciting was a dude with bad stairs on the second floor. He was also a general jerk. They wouldn't let us ban him, even though the drivers said it was a safety hazard. He eventually fell through the stairs intoxicated 12 feet to the ground and got banned. It was caught on video from one of those trackball blackberries, and the video sustained me for a year or two. Cape Town, South Africa, 1998, had an address that was impossible to find. Seemed to be an abandoned building in a neighborhood that had drug dealers and illegal liquor stores alongside regular houses. I stopped my car and got out to ask a resident at a nearby house if he knew where the place was. He informed me that it was a scam the local gang members ran to rob delivery guys of their cash. My boss then blacklisted the entire neighborhood for delivery. It was on the edge of our viable delivery area anyway. There was this older lady we would deliver to. It was a 50-50 chance on if she would tip 75 bucks or not answer the door at all. After enough of her not answering the door, she got banned. Every time I delivered to her was a no answer. My coworker got two consecutive deliveries with the $75 tip. Lucky. I only know of a couple of people that got banned. One guy was drunk and really rude to a driver and we blacklisted him from delivery. He could still come and get food we just weren't going to deliver to him. He apologized so we didn't make it a lifetime ban just until the end of the year. The other person was banned and officially trespassed from the property. This person ordered food for herself and her family, her kid and grandkids. She was told it would be ready in 15 minutes and it was ready in 13 minutes. She picks the food up 35 minutes after ordering it, 20 minutes after we told her to pick it up. Her family got pizza, and she got a sandwich, which we put lettuce on after we pull it from the oven. Due to the 20 extra minutes it sat on the warmer, the lettuce wilted a bit as it does when it gets warm. This lady called the store screaming and demanding the manager. The assistant manager was in, so he took the call and could not get a word in edgewise. He eventually hung up the phone on her, because all she was doing was screaming. The store manager came out of the office, he was working on the schedule, to find out what just happened, as he could see him slam the phone down in anger. While this is going on, the crazy lady makes a complaint about being given rotten lettuce in her sandwich to corporate, 
Obviously, they get the regional manager to find out what the heck is going on. The regional manager calls the store and asks for the store manager. The regional manager asks for two things, a picture of a fresh-made sandwich and a picture of that same sandwich 30 minutes later after it has been on the warmer. We start this process and get a picture and set it on the warmer. While that is warming up, the crazy lady comes back to the store and starts screaming at everyone. The assistant manager is still at the front of the store and the store manager is getting the email ready for the pictures to be sent. This crazy woman then throws her sandwich at the assistant manager hitting him right in the face. It was still wrapped so no mess and no damage to him at all, and I'm pretty proud he didn't jump the counter and choke her to death. He had taken her abuse for nearly 30 minutes with the phone plus in-person screaming. She peeled out of the parking lot right after. Cops were called and her family showed up while the cops were there. They apologized and said that her mom was on some new medication, and it was a side effect. We said that is quite unfortunate to hear. She is never allowed to order from us again. We are not delivering to your address, and the police officer will hand you the copy of the order of trespass against her for her own files. We didn't ban this customer, but I feel like this story fits. I work for Domino's. I took a delivery to a hotel from an order placed online, so the actual customer put in the wrong address. So I deliver to the room number that she incorrectly put. Anyway, a couple opens the door, they're both stark naked, head to toe, and obviously under the influence. They paid for the order. I guess they thought I was a pizza fairy. I don't know. But it was super awkward. So I get back from the delivery, and the actual customer had called back complaining. So we remade the order. We couldn't ban her, and it's kinda hard to ban hotel deliveries. I delivered to a trailer home right on the edge of a neighborhood of literal mansions. When I knocked on the door, this big drunk dude answered. I gave the name and he said to come in. I was a dumb 20-year-old and didn't think anything of it and went just inside the door. Big drunk dude sat down in a rocker in front of a TV watching that night's game. I asked where the guy was and he yelled down the hall for them. After a moment of them not coming out, he told me they were just around the corner and I just needed to poke my head in to get them. Again, really dumb of me but I start walking across the living area, and as soon as I get to the hall, this guy comes out of one of the doors, yelling at me, asking what the heck I'm doing in his house. I tell him I'm delivering a pizza for so-and-so, and the other dude told me to come down the hall. He starts yelling again at me. At this point, I already decide I'm leaving with the pizza. As I'm walking out, the guy goes down the hall, and I hear him grab something and start coming back towards me. As I'm getting in my car, I see him standing in the door of his trailer pointing a shotgun at me, and yelling to never come back to his house. So, I never did. And no one ever will from that Domino's again. We have hotel front desks a sizable discount in return for recommending us and handing out our menus. One hotel took it too far and gave everyone the discount and told them to have it delivered to the front desk. When we complained, they would try to hide it and have the front desk guys act like it was for them. But we always saw people sitting around